By watching the advertisements at the beginning, you can help me to continue to help you with these free informative videos. Thank you. If you want to find all of them, you just go to genesispc.com, click on videos on YouTube, and you will find all my videos on Excel, Excel VBA, Access, Access VBA, and, v and you just click on any of them, and there you go. Let's tackle the following multiple regression problem. Say we have four variables. One is the dependent variable, systolic blood pressure, and we assume that it depends on three independent variables, the age of the person, the weight, and did the parents have a high systolic blood pressure? Zero, neither one, one is one parent, two is two parents. So to predict the systolic blood pressure based on those three independent variables, we need a formula like this. A slope times one independent variable, the slope of the second independent variable, etc., and finally an intercept. So when we analyze this, we have to realize that the formula we are going to use considers the last independent variable as the first one here, weight second and age third and then the systolic blood pressure. In order to do this you really need the function Linist in Excel. Linist has a complicated structure. It has the number of variables, then the slopes, then the standard error of these slopes, r squared, standard error of y, the f value, the degrees of freedom, and the sum of the squared regression points, and the sum of the squared residuals. Linist does all of that, and it returns everything in this way. So it returns multiple values. Some of them don't show anything, but the other ones you really need for your analysis. But as I said already, be aware that the last one, of the independent variables, the parents, will be the first one in the display. So the slope of parents will be first, A3, A2, A1, and finally the intercept. Let's do it. I have here my records. The systolic blood pressure is, we assume, de dependent on the age, on the weight, and how many parents had a high blood pressure. So we need the Linist function. I did that here, but be aware that when you start the Linist function, you have to select all the cells you are going to need. Always five rows if you want all these data. But the number of columns depends on how many variables you have. The sum of the independent and the dependent one. So in this case, I need four. Then you start the Linus function, and it asks you, what are the known y's? That is definitely D2 through D26, it's the end of my list of records. The known axes are multiple columns. Always be aware that you have the same number of rows between x and y. The constant you can just skip, that is a logical value. But you want to say to s the last argument that you want also additional statistics. Otherwise you get only the beginning slopes. And don't forget to accept this formula with Control shift enter It's an array formula. So this is the slope of the parents. Be aware of that, not of age, but the last one of the three independent ones. Weight, age, and this is the intercept for the systolic blood pressure. These are the standard errors of those slopes. That one is the R squared value that tells you how well this can be predicted. It goes from 0 to 1. 1 means a perfect match. Zero means an awful match. So what I uh, want you to know now, if you want to predict 
the systolic blood pressure based on those three independent variables the formula should look like this 2.34 times the parents value 3.8 times the weight value plus 4.44 times the age value plus 3477 as the intercept that's what I did here it takes all those values I took the parents first but you could also take the age first but then you have to take the corresponding slope and that is the prediction we actually found here 141 millimeter mercury and there 135 that is the prediction so you copy that formula downwards and then you want to find the residuals what is the difference between what you observed and what you expected that is d2 minus f2 or f2 minus d2 that doesn't matter and all those residuals together are here if you sum all those residuals you could do that with the function sum sq g2 through g26 and that number should be the same as this one because that is the num the some squared residuals in the formula please be aware that you cannot use the r squared function itself you can do that if you have two variables a dependent and an independent one but the number of rows and the number of columns should be the same for both so this will not work that's why I don't get a result then you might think oh I can calculate the correlation and then square it but that doesn't work either because you have different number of columns for X and Y so Linus is your only answer for problems like these multiple regression there is much more to this kind of analysis of course so I made for you a book and a CD-ROM geared specifically to scientists and you will find issues like this for instance in the module 3 curve fitting and module 4 statistical analysis you can find the book and the CD at genesispc.com